Greetings, greetings, greetings. You are now tuned in to the vault. Trust Christian know nothing, control everything. Just want to appreciate you and let you know we appreciate you for tuning in live or listening to replay. This is the vault, episode 454. Special guest announcement. Definitely wanted to do this episode. Uh, we're coming up rather quickly on a workshop conference that we have. We usually do them quarterly. We're post-COVID days now, so we're going to see how it goes out this year. Uh, people have already asked about the next one. We'll possibly be looking at the next one in April. Uh, so we just want to go ahead and let people know about that. But this is The Vault, episode 454, special guest announcement. Definitely excited about talking about and talking with this guest at the conference uh we're just gonna go ahead and put the conference up on the screen as well definitely look forward to everybody joining us we are uh, always what they say have a sellout event whoa so uh it's always one of those things actually uh we do really well for our workshops our conferences uh for the family asset protection trust conference this is going to be for some families that we already work with um you know, it's interesting. We were talking to someone the other day about putting a price on a flyer, and we traditionally never did that because the event was already covered by the actual uh, trustees that are enrolled in the program that want to continue an education that are, once again, enrolled in a continuing education program. So, of course, that's consultations in a, in a format that's structured in a training format. Uh, you know, very focused on that. But we definitely want to talk about the special guest. Uh, no need to talk about just the vault, uh, as we always can do. We always have had a great run uh, here going into uh, what will be considered the probably six plus year. Uh, so definitely excited and thankful for that. The vault, episode 454, special guest announcement. So we have confirmed that we are going to have uh, it's interesting when you say well what's a lawyer huh it it's a jurist doctorate the individual is a jurist doctorate so that means that they've gone pretty high high heights in the realm of education for law you know sure they would like to say more about it it could be a lot to be said about it. Nevertheless, it's considered to be one of the higher levels of education for law in the states. Uh, it is a, a so we don't want to just call it a certification, but it is a, a what they call a qualification uh, based off of knowledge base and accreditation. Uh, so not only are they a juris doctor, you know, when you get around people that are performing at a high level, they're multi-talented. Most of us aren't just, you know, one trick ponies as you would like to think or people would like to think, oh, I only got one, one spark of greatness in me. How many stars are there in the sky? Now, maybe most people can't develop those talents to a bright, shiny level, but this is one of those individuals that's an ex-Olympic athlete. Now, maybe we don't know if it's appropriate to call them an ex, but they are an Olympic athlete. That means they at least win. And in an interview, we're going to get more out of that. And, you know, maybe they meddled. These are things that when you get down to it in life, you don't just get to the Olympics because you landed there and you woke up and you had talent. No, you had to develop that talent. And it's really exciting to be around individuals that have developed their talent. They're not just sitting around having no talent and making money. You think it's hard to make money? It's not. It's not hard to make money. You can make money with no talent, unfortunately. But fortunately, this is an individual that is talented. They develop their talent. They develop their mind. We can sit here and talk about this individual all day with praise. If they ever hear this, just know that this is praise. Uh, just know that this is uh, salutations. 
and a compliment to the level of development and sincere work that someone has put in to development of themselves to be an asset. So this is what we do at the vault. We we acquire assets. Assets are relationships. Assets are people. So you got you got financial assets, you got property assets, and then you got human capital assets. This is a human capital asset for the audience, for the trustees, maybe people that are not trustees that will be at the work at the conference. So you get that value of getting close to someone that has performed at high levels. So when you talk about trusteeship, we're talking about trusteeship performed at a high level. They're not coming in because they're an Olympic athlete. They're coming in because they're third generation wealth. They're coming in because we can talk about those nuances of trusteeship. We can talk about trustee board meetings. We can have those conversations. Yes, in the private. We can sit here and talk about this individual all day. Oh, do we need to know their name? You don't need to know their name because you're going to Google them and you still don't have access. Oh, man, is it got to be private? Look, if we're sharing with you the credentials, and that's not enough for you to say, I still need to be in the room, third generation well, that already is a signifier. Third generation. How do you replace that? I'm first gen, I'm first gen, everybody's first gen. Everybody, 80% of the population, you're first gen. I'm looking to go third. You're looking to go third gen. You're looking to actually have someone two generations from now say they're going to step up to the plate and work for the family. This individual not only has achieved just tons of accolades, they have capital at their disposal. So, you, you know, once again, you can't just be human capital. They actually have venture capital. But they're really pre PE from what we're aware. PE, private equity. Not only do they come in with money, they come in with a team. They come in wanting to know your board. They come in wanting to make sure that you have a board. They come in to want to make sure that the operations are running correctly. See, this is what happens when you're performing at a high level. You understand how businesses run. It's through the management. So having this individual, you know, qu questions and answers, huh, this is going to be a, an exciting uh, Q&A for the uh, quote-unquote individuals that are sitting in the room, families that are sitting in the room. Uh, very exciting. Very, very exciting. Uh, look forward to uh, being able to add value to the trustees. Uh, by letting them have open Q&A with this individual. So they you essentially are paying access to have a third generation trustee go over uh, not only just, you know, management, uh, operations, uh, law, uh, but coming from a perspective of, of so many different elements of trusteeship, understanding how wealthy families are operating the private family foundation see we're not we're not bringing in a, a what they call a heavy hitter this is a heavy gun this is a big one this is the cannon that sunk ships that's what we had to bring in the room now because we had to go ahead and, and turn up the heat on what you call the competition yes we had to turn up the heat on what you call the competition they want to sell you BS! And we're putting you in front of the people that's practicing law. Huh. You hear the difference? You could trust Christian, own nothing, control everything. Because we put you in front of who? The people that's practicing the same thing. They all they know all about trust Christian, own nothing, control everything. They know all about private family foundations making money, giving it away. They know all about it.
that's what it is, that's what it is. Being able to interview someone that is in a high net worth investor category, you have to be able to ask them very precise and important questions. It's very exciting to be able to ask them very germane questions to the trustees that we've had previous established relationships with and ask them questions in relationship to that because when you have assets you can sell assets by that being the case when you have someone of this individual's caliber they can buy assets from you if you have assets and you're in trusteeship well that's the case we had to bring the cannons maybe we just got tired of playing with guns <laughs> you know these guys whoever else the competition we're gonna call you what you are you identified yourself as competition because you didn't partner that's why and we're okay with it. When you, when you have a board now that has over 50 to 100 years plus of experience, you're looking solid. Over 150 to 200 years of experience, you're looking solid. We're excited about this conference and the individual that would be better as the guest speaker or the speakers in general. Oh, am I going to hear the same thing? I don't want to hear the overview. But when you go, we always got to add that sugar to the spice, right? We got to sweeten the deal. So the Family Asset Protection Trust Conference, we just sweetened the deal. We sweetened it with who? with a senior trustee that's third generation that has capital that can buy your assets from you. See, you're supposed to be practicing private family banking, right? Right. So it's supposed to be big bank take little bank, right? Right. That doesn't mean you lose your bank, but you can, as a bank, sell off assets. That's what banks do. They sell off assets at the height, not at the low, at the height. We're definitely excited about interviewing this asset manager. It makes trusteeship so much sweeter knowing that people in trust, there are people in trust, people that can speak the language, people that understand how to move. This is what you get access to. When you talk about this individual, we're going to continue to give value because this individual presents private equity once again. So when you have an operating business, you hear that? When you have an operating business that's working, when you have an operating business, it's working. And you may need a hard money line. This is what private equity provides. But they also provide senior management skills relationships that you don't have that's what the special guest provides they have a network some people may say how deep does it go they're linked up with the players associations for the leagues we don't need a name drop but we can definitely say that much they speak in front of the players at major events. What do you how do you replace that relationship? Oh, I want to know how to operate in these entities. I want to know how to operate, but you don't have the relationships. How do you get the relationships? You gotta show up, you gotta invest in yourself. You think we didn't know about trips last minute and we had still got there? 
you you think at the with the at the end of the year last year in 2022 there was an event it comes up within two weeks you gotta be there why because this is where you meet these people this is where you meet these people you meet these people at high net worth investor events how do you want to get big money and you're not associating with big money how do you want to get big money and you operate with big money, but you're not going to pay for the quality time? Oh, I want to get time with it, with this name and that name and this name and that name. And then you finally get someone that's operating in trusteeship. Private family foundations. Very clear on 5%. What they say, operating at a high level. They like to use that term. Operating at a high level. They've done things at a high level. Right. They've done multiple things at a high level. Trusteeship is just one of them. Family governance is going to be a conversation of the day. How do you operate as a family? That's why it's the Family Asset Protection Trust Conference. We don't get three generations without having these structures and, and, and type of thought processes in place. Looking forward to it. January 14th, 2023, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Christian at TrustChristian.com is the email you can reach out to. Christian at TrustChristian.com. Look forward to hearing from you uh, for this work, for this conference. Uh, we always like to liken them as a training because it's nothing better than hands-on training. See, anybody could teach you from a book. That's why we haven't produced that garbage yet. Is it bad to have a trust book? No. Is it bad to have family asset management and different books to, for your mindset or stories? No. It's nothing wrong with that. But to just put out content to make someone purchase something to read, it's a waste of your time. Why? Because you only, what the mentors say, you only, it's the, the only test is doing it. And how do you get good at being a trustee? By associating with other trustees, because people in trust deal with people in trust. We've been saying this for years. So now that we've, we'll go, we're going to clarify that. Now, now we can share with you that yes, people in trust deal with people in trust. Then you're going to see that yes, you got to associate with those people. And not everybody's in it. Maybe your family's not in it. Everybody says, "Oh, I need my family. My family didn't want to get in it with me. My family's got to get in it with me. I'm trying to get my family in it with me." Then you're going to see that maybe we should have all three of the family generations sitting on stage, huh? We got to have all three sitting on stage. First gen, second gen, third gen. That's how important it is then. But we're going to share with you the pup. Third gen. This isn't new money. This is old now. That's the best part about it. Is you get to hear the new fresh ideas of how they're management. And you get to hear the old, how they, how they had to sit around the older thought processes of money. And how they had to develop them. How they had to have come out communication between one generation to the next is you have to be very skilled at communication if you're a third gen as opposed to the first gen because the first gen had the money. The third gen has to say, well, possibly, what, what, if you're not going to give me anything, let's talk about working together. Because you have to work together to even consider it a family dynasty. They don't want to hear these type of terms, though. But guess what? The third generation already knows about it, and they're in it, and they're perpetuating it. It's a, it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. Appreciate everybody for tuning in live, listening, replay. Christian at TrustChristian.com. Once again, that's Christian at TrustChristian.com. This is the Vault Episode 454 Special Guest Announcement. We definitely are excited about announcing this special guest for our upcoming Family Asset Protection Trust Conference. And this is uh, on the January 14th uh, in the Miami area. Uh, you, you know, feel free to reach out. Uh, get the details. Get to it. Uh, it's going to be exciting. Definitely, we can't say that enough because it's always good to present value to the first gens. See, it's hard for somebody to see that I'm older than this third generation person. That's wisdom. So you're sitting in front of somebody that's third gen that you might be older than. And they're managing and carrying the torch. So it's a lot of equitable value there. 
Oh, should I have my family there? Should I have my brother there? Should I have my cousin there? Should I have my mom there? Should I have my children? What do you mean? We already have people bringing their children to the Family Asset Protection Trust Conference. Definitely. People are bringing their children. Why wouldn't they bring their children? It's a Family Asset Protection Trust Conference. Oh, man. How, how, how young should they be? We've had people bring children in the room. Women sometimes were dang near nursing, but they left out. But, you know, we've had families for sure uh, that have brought, you know, as young as five-year-olds, uh, seven-year-olds, uh, 15-year-olds, 16-year-olds, 18-year-olds, 19-year-olds, and then beyond. So, you know, when you talk about people bringing their children in the room, you can't dismiss the value of having a third generation and saying, well, what's the value of bringing my child in the room? The value of bringing your child in the room is knowing that they're going to be indirectly associated with a third generation they're going to be able to say i was able to get close to someone that was third gen it wasn't a hypothesis it wasn't hypothecated it wasn't an if and or maybe it's third gen that's the facts i can see that they're performing trusteeship at a high level I have an example. My family made it a point to reach out and get me this relationship. That's the facts. You got to reach out to get those relationships. No one said it was going to be easy. You think for them to become an Olympic athlete was easy? It wasn't easy. Trusteeship, it's not easy. Association is key. It may not be easy. But it is once you make that decision. That's all it is. I got to be around that, those individuals. I got to be around those caliber of people. Appreciate the Bronx for tuning in live, listening to replay. Always appreciate the Bronx for tuning in live, listening to replay. That's the bottom line. Make the decision. We know families that right now they've made the decision that they're going to be at the conference that sell off assets. And that's the facts. So the special guest announcement is going to be a great announcement for them. Because now they know they have capital. Right there in the room. It's not a lending institution. It's the decision maker. You hear the difference? Right. Oh, I don't know if I got my pitch together. I got all these single family homes. I bought them in a depressed market. And now I'm trying to sell them off. Oh, I got these multi-unit properties that I recently got. And my management skills aren't great. And I need a joint venture with somebody. Exactly. Oh, I got some assets. They may not be completely distressed, but they're indirectly. They're, they're, uh, what do they call it? Uh, they might be, uh, they're, they're still distressed, nevertheless. So, we don't need to say, oh, why are we excited about this? We're more than excited. It's about presenting value to the trustees. It's not about us. We've already established our relationship. We've already, trustees deal with trustees. We're already connected. That's the facts. Now, it's are you going to find equitable value with someone in that space? Oh, trusteeship. I'm a trustee. I need equity. I got to deal with equity. Chancellery. Chancellery. I got to deal with equity. Right. And trusteeship. Right. You got to have assets. Assets is not just financial. It's human capital. And we're establishing that by showing you that you got to have the relationships. That's that. Christian at TrustChristian.com. Look forward to seeing your faces. Look forward to shaking your hands. Uh, we know, you know, the capacity of the room. Some people say, oh, does it have to be a sellout? Look, first of all, the right people. We look forward to connecting with you. Always about the time and in the right place and the right time. Where were you when the wealth transfer was going on? Where were you when money was being brought into the rooms? Not a not a middleman. They're third generation. Well, they're not a middleman. You hear that? 
They're third generation. Oh man, how big of a deal is it? If it does, first of all, to even ask that question, this isn't this channel isn't for you. But for the ones that understand, I'm looking to see that, be that, do that, have that. You know how important it is, and it's not just well. How do you how do you make that statement? You make the statement by the individual saying, "Yes, my grandfather is wealthy." My father put more money in place. And I'm here to show up. That's it. What do you need to say? We don't need this individual to say, oh, I'm a billionaire. I manage billions. You don't need to manage a billion. Your family has already shown you a system, which we talk about trusteeship. We talk about private family foundation. This is what we talk about at the vault. And then you have the individual that says, yeah, I know about all of that. I'm in it. They're a trust fund, baby. Oh, man. Now you get to talk to a real trust fund, baby. You don't just get to talk to, oh, I'm first generation wealth. How do I figure it out? They're not figuring it out. They're managing assets and employing capital. To other first generation they understand but they don't but they understand what it's like to deploy capital to first generation I'm trying to put it together for my family the system whatever it is they can hear your rolling thunder hear your cry they can do that It's about investing in yourself. That in turn is inve investing in relationships. Appreciate everybody for tuning in live. Listen to replay. Always appreciate you. For tuning in live. Listening to replay. Look forward to seeing you at the. Family Asset Protection Trust Conference. On the 14th. It's going to be exciting. Because you get to be in a room. With what you say you're going in. Everybody says generational wealth. Generational wealth. Generational wealth. You hear this term thrown around. So often nowadays. How are you building generational wealth. But you're watching football games. You're watching football games. You're watching sports. For two hours. Are you going to invest. Not just in cable. Not just time and energy. Into watching sports. But actually investing in education, and relationships for generational wealth. That's a sport too. So are you a spectator or are you a player? That's the difference. We're going to give you a quick tidbit of how the conversation goes with these high net worth investors. The individual we have in the room. The individual we have coming in the room. Third generation wealth sitting here talking to them and they say, oh, yeah, I go to the Super Bowl every year. You hear that? But they're going for free. Just like we went to the Super Bowl for free. They don't even watch the game. Because they've been to so many. They're focused on building business. That's one of the biggest networking events of the year is Super Bowl. And what are they doing? Building generational wealth. Helping people go into one of the most successful industries in the States and build generational wealth off of a few contracts. And guess what? They're a lawyer. They know about contracts. This is called equity which is called value. They don't call it value in trusteeship because that's the public term. Generational wealth is thrown around in the public. In the private, we call this equity. This is called value. Equity. This person has equity. They got skin in the game. They got family wealth. They got their family name in the game. They got family money in the game. They're investing family money in the game. 
hard-earned dollars investing, going out and building business. This isn't a theory. We're not trying to get our family to be entrepreneurs. They live it. They are entrepreneurs. They are investors. We don't need the school system to train them and say it's a school system failure. No, it's our family responsibility. That's how the family's operating. That's how you get their generations deep. But how do you get three generations deep? You get around other families that are operating three generations deep. We've been around families that have been operating recently more than five generations deep. We're going to go ahead and let you know over here at the vault. So we don't want to go ahead and give you the him haw and the gimmick and say, oh, we wrote a book. And yeah, you can go ahead and buy it. And that's how that's going to work. No, we're focused on doing what? Building equity, which is assets. And those come in the form of not just money, but relationships. So we're presenting that equity to the listeners of the vault and trustees of the vault. Because if you're a trustee, your trustees deal with other trustees. It's not about the vault. It's about the trustees that have assets. See, if you don't have an asset, you won't find equity because you don't have an asset. But when you have assets, you have equity. And you can sell that to other what? Trustees that are in trusteeship. That know about the system that we talk about at the vault. But oh no, no. Do we need to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and pull them out of the private for you. They would say you got to pull them out of the private. Because that's where they are. They don't want to be in the public and talking to what? They want to allocate a million dollars. They want to allocate five million dollars. They want to allocate ten million dollars one time. Oh, I got a, I got a house though. You know, I got it for one fifty. I got it for eighty k. You know, I'm trying to flip it. The asset managers that we're talking about, you don't get three generations deep, and not have the ability to allocate. A million dollars, five million dollars, ten million dollars at one time for one deal. If it's the right deal, that's why this Family Asset Protection Trust Conference is about the right people because we're bringing in the right people. All the right people that you want to say, oh, I'm building generational wealth. I'm getting around the new Internet millionaires. They're not Internet millionaires. Do you hear that? They're not drop shipping millionaires. They're not the day trading millionaires. Oh, I'm a day trader millionaire. <laughs> They're third generation millionaires. And it isn't off the internet. And when you sit in a room and we have the opportunity to talk to this individual, they're not even just focused on internet deals. They still love brick and mortar deals. Like we love brick and mortar deals. So what do you get when you get into the, the Family Asset Protection Trust Conference room? You get to sit in front of people that have their pulse on asset allocation, capital allocation. And they're doing it from a third generation perspective as opposed to a first generation perspective, which is good. Because you're not just getting new money. Over Everybody talks about generational wealth, but they're new money. This is not new money. You hear that? We're giving you quality interviews. You need the quality. You don't need the quantity. You don't need everybody to tell you how to become a millionaire. Oh, I'm going to become a millionaire. There's a million ways to make a million dollars, right? Right. But you need systems in place to manage this money once you get it. That's why they're able to talk to athletes and celebrities and people that have money that have become millionaires in the first gen. Why? Because they're third gen. Do you hear the difference? That's what we're bringing to this conference. That's the special guest announcement. We're bringing third generation lawmen, even though they're not a lawman, it's actually not a lawman, it's a, a, a lady, which is even more interesting. So when you want to have human rights empowerment, when you say diversity and inclusion, this is somebody, once again, that has performed and outperforming what you call the odds. This is super outperforming the odds. This is what you're trying to do. First generation wealth. You think you're not trying to outperform the odds? First generation wealth? You think some internet marketing scheme is going to make you think you're going to outperform the odds? You don't want to hear the odds are against you. You're better off saying you were second gen and you mismanaged it. But making it in first? Give us a break.
but this is why we're going to bring in the third so you can know you got a fighting chance. So you can hear some of the grandfather's stories. So you can hear the failures. So you can hear the successes. And do our best to jam pack it in an hour or two. That's what we have to do. And it's all for you. You can say, oh, this, that, and the third. Oh, it's for you. You get the connections. You get the relationships when you invest in yourself and invest in the relationships. That's all. Christian at TrustChristian.com. We look forward to seeing you there. There is no internet webcast. Just like we met them in private, just like we didn't announce their name, you get to meet them in private. Just like people have met Trust Christian in the private. Oh, I need to see your face. I need to see this. I need to, where's the internet credibility? Where's the internet website? Private equity. We're going to repeat what it's called. Private equity. These are individuals, high net worth individuals, families and money. They don't care to be known by the wrong people. They want to be known. By the right people to get the right deals at the right time. That's how that works. We're going to keep it real simple for you. Private equity, it's called private for a reason. That's why they're third generation, because they understand how to keep their mouth shut and how to deal with the right people and associate. With the right people. And invest in the right things. You think they didn't make mistakes as an athlete? How do you become great at something if you didn't make mistakes? This is our pleasure at the vault. We went through an amazing 2022. We had an amazing uh, uh, conference. We're going to double back. Triple back. Quadruple back. This is that. The beginning of the year, January 14th, the 2023, in the Miami area, figure out how to get there. The, the actual location will be disclosed after payment. You can see the price on the screen. It's interesting because we talk about how we never in the past put price on the screen, and now we do, and it still makes no difference. It's unfortunate because people look at it. They've kind of given us some feedback. They say, oh, man, well, it should be more than that, right? Right. People have actually have not inquired about the couples tickets, and that's another thing. People that are bringing their families or couples, we've always mitigated the price. If you bring more than one person, we'll always mitigate the price. That was a fact. There was never a question in our mind. Somebody Just because somebody looks on the screen and they say, oh, well, it's for one, I see it as this. It's like, well... We're giving you an idea of what one looks like. When you bring families, we were mitigating the price for sure. We've done that in the past. People have bought children in the room. You don't need to pay for children. Why would you pay for a child? They're a part of your family. They're not even an a, a, a active trustee. We want the children to know. What y'all don't want to know is this trustee that we're bringing in just had a child. So they're third generation and has had a child. So, we, and that may be, may be a little personal, but it's letting you know they're going through their life as a trustee, having a family. It's about family. It's not just old oh, mechanics. We're not just trying to expose somebody here. This is not about that. This is about Family Asset Protection Trust Conference. This was a special guest announcement. Christian at TrustChristian.com. Once again, it's Christian at TrustChristian.com. I look forward to hearing from you. Peace and joy.